what's up guys so today we're gonna go do a couple errands real quick and then we're gonna head over to the shop and we're gonna get to work on the Lancer probably pull the engine out today and the transmission get uh, the trunk and the rest of the body panel or actually the door panels and everything inside from the interior pulled out and figure out how or who to call to come get that um, parts car so we can just get that jumped and get it out of here since the frames twisted from that front end collision but um, that's that's the plan for today guys let's get going all right so I'm gonna be taking basically just cleaning this out getting everything ready to throw out throw away everything I don't need <clears throat> I really wish these tail lights weren't fucking busted though I would have kept them kind of liked them oh well but they're going in the trash unless somebody wants them I don't know we'll see what's up but yeah let's get to cleaning this out see what we can keep and what's not what we're not gonna keep all right so here's an update guys I finally got the top pulled out the seats are pulled out trunks cleaned out not the seats there they're kind of dirty might clean them up and sell them not too sure um, basically just got the door panels to pull out of this one Pull the seat belts out since they're black. I don't want the gray ones of mine. Um, and I just got to get that center console tore apart. Get these door panels pulled off, cleaned up. Same thing with the dash. And I mean, it's already halfway torn apart, but I could take it apart pretty easy. And then once I get done with that, we'll go ahead and pull this engine and transfer get it all swapped into my Lancer so I can drive that around too while my engine gets rebuilt but for the most part I'm gonna be dri driving that Eclipse right there still can't get over this one it's fucking awesome I can't wait to get this done with that engine swap it's gonna be sick I'm gonna work on getting these front door panels ripped off and working on start working on getting this centerpiece pulled out and getting the dash completely torn out so I can pull the wire harness and get the ECU so I can move this all over onto my car once I get it towed here but that'll be after I get all this completely gutted out so yeah I might record a little bit of this one here. I mean, getting the door panels out so you guys can actually see this. There's one bolt, there's a bolt, like a screw there, there's one in there, one in the cup holder, and one right here that's missing already. And then after that, the whole door should just pop right out, but it shouldn't be too long. And then that center console, there's two bolts, two screws inside the, the glove box, and then there's another two holding the shifter box thing um, holding that down and then I gotta unscrew that shifter and then pull everything out and so we can get this swap done probably end up swapping it all into my car dropping the engine and the transmission in just so I can get my car my lines up and running and then once I get that other engine built then I can go ahead and drop that Pull the engine out actually and drop mine in there so we can have a, a fully built bottom end, tool overhead, boosted. Be a fun car. But let's get to work, guys.
Okay, so when you go to take these off, you slide the doors, the latch over, and then it should pop right out. And then you have these little clips in here that should pop right off. And then they just, uh, just this right here, the wire that goes underneath, just push them up, pop it over the flat head. Um, and then they should come right off. I don't know how to show you guys, but let me see if I can. Be very careful not to break them. I don't think they're replaceable. <laughs> Alright, so both doors are torn apart. I'll show you guys how to get the center console out. There's two screws in there. You probably can't see them. And then this will come right up. And there's two screws right here that you uh, pull out. And this whole center console should come out. I just gotta rotate this to get this off. And then we should be pretty much done with the interior besides the dash, which gonna be a little little project because I've never actually pulled the dash apart I've gotten this part taken off to get inside the stereo and everything but to say the whole dash I've never done that so that's gonna be an adventure so let's get to it guys All right, so I got the dash cover pulled out, cubby hole, radio cover. Got to get these two screws right here so I can pull off this trim. And then once I get the dash completely tore out, I'll get the shifter assembly out. I might have to get it out before. Hey, I do have the keys here for the shop. I didn't even realize I left them here. Anyways. Um, we're making progress, slowly but surely. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the dash now, with that piece being broke. I didn't even realize this was broken. Well, let's see, let's see if it is or not. But, we still got a lot to go. And I need to figure out how I'm gonna take the steering wheel off. Should be fairly easy, I think it's one screw on the back side and the whole thing comes out. But we'll, we'll check it out right now. All right, let's get to this, guys. Okay, now that I got that out, I'm gonna take out the gauge cluster out, which is literally just three screws. One right there, and then just one up there, and then one over here on this corner. If I can get this. All right, I might have to put you guys down somewhere. So we're gonna take a little trip. We're gonna go to my buddy's house and uh, go pick up some gallons, some empty gallon jugs that he has so I can drain the fluid out of these. So I can drain all the fluids out of this engine, get the oil taken out, the power steering, the brake fluid, just so I can get this car all, the engine or the engine and transmission ready to get pulled out when I get ready for it. And then I gotta go get this 
um, weighed and get it ready to ship out. I got somebody that wants somebody on one of the Lancer pages that's gonna buy it. It's a little pain in the ass to get out because of these clips right here, and then and then uh, the wires that hook up to them were st stuck in there. So, but that's that. Let's get going, guys. All right, guys. I uh, forgot my camera in the sh in the car. I was working on trying to get that dash torn apart in the Lancer, but there's a bunch of bolts that I can't get to or that I'm not seeing. I got all the bottom part of it taken apart, and uh, I just can't get the top off. I'm gonna have to research. Have some guys online to see if, uh, if I'm missing any bolts or anything, or if it just pops up or what. But I'm on my way home, calling it a day. Uh, I didn't record much of the stuff I wanted to, but oh well. We're getting progress done on the car. Next time, I'll show you guys what what all I did. And uh, yeah, take a little drive home. And Listen to some jams, I guess. Well, that's it for the day, guys. Peace.